The second named windstorm in less than two weeks has knocked out power for tens of thousands of UK residents. CBS News contributor Simon Bates has more in the latest installment of London Calling. And as always, a reminder that Simon's opinions are his own, not necessarily reflective of CBSN. As if life here weren't complicated enough, we've now been deluged by a couple of winter storms, first from France and then from Ireland. The French one, known around these parts as Storm Arwen, was a real humdinger with gales sweeping across Britain, leaving swathes of the country without power. And that power was just being restored to thousands of rural homes when the Irish storm Storm Barra arrived. This one was vicious and conditions in parts of the country were treacherous. Now, we Brits are used to bad weather. It's something we tend to be proud of in a slightly quirky way. Older residents will shrug their shoulders and recall the big snow in 1947 and the storm of the century in 1953. Isolated incidents years apart, but one-offs, surely. Well, after being hit by these last two storms within days of each other, we're now being told that this is yet another result of global warming and that we should expect much more in years to come, as well as the associated loss of power and disrupted travel. It all points to a weak and fragile infrastructure. Over here, we're made of tough stuff and we can deal with all that, surely. Well, maybe. If it hadn't been for the call to stop using fossil fuels, we're reminded every day by the politicians and by the experts that it's time to give up our reliance on coal and oil and gasoline and wood and settle down to a brave new world where electricity runs everything even cars. But imagine hunting for a charging point last week when Storm Arwen had just knocked out the power. There's going to have to be a rethink, especially for rural areas, because if our power companies can't guarantee continuity of service, we could be facing the perfect storm. That's London Calling for today. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in Devon.